This is the future. In just a couple of hours, we will be witnessing what will be the new content that is coming in the new war update of Warframe. If you are just like me who are anticipating this big update, then join me for a couple of minutes as we discuss what could possibly be coming with the new war update. There's no question that this will be the biggest, and the finale of the new war chapter. If you know already know, Digital Extremes drop a couple of hints on what will be the final chapter of the new war beginning from the Chimera prologue which allows us to discover that the Orogin without balls, ball less, is alive and we he rewarded as the sentient killer Paracers as which will be a big part for the final war between the sentients. Where will we use the Paracers as? Will we strike it into the brother of Nata named Era? Or will we use it to the Lotus herself? It says that this is the only weapon that can end a sentient life and it's probably the weapon that will either kill or save the Lotus. How about you? Do you want the Lotus back? Or do you want to slay her? Then after that, we got Jovian Concord which introduces us to the Amalgams and the origin of Lotus or now called Natter. Then the Rising Tide which introduces us to the Railjack system and then Error, which introduces us to the Lotus brother which seems to be controlling her. After that, there is the Scarlet Spear which gives us a glimpse of how sentience will invade. And then, the untitled chapter which is now called the Maker where Inera throws Nata into a pedestal and it seems that this allows the Lotus to send commands to the sentients. And then we got Deadlock Protocol which introduces us to Parvus Granum and lastly, the Operation of Hex Venom which gave us the ability to use our corn bot against sentients. What if these are all the sea on tent of the new war? What if digital extremes will just slap all the features of each chapter and we get the final outcome of the new war update? If they do that, then it's probably the end of Warframe in my opinion as players wanted a big update that will surprise them. We have been given content Thailand year after year, and it's really great to hear that it will not be another open world focus update but instead, it will be focus on the main storyline of Warframe. You see, if you are an avid fan of the lore of Warframe, then this is the most anticipated update for you. Warframe is rich when it comes to lore and one way of making veteran players get back to playing Warframe is focusing on the main storyline and adding things that are Warframe, and not just features that seems experimental, and once it's in the game, it's either it will break it or create a new meta or worse more grind. Although I can't deny the fact that we might see other open world activities in the game since sentients will probably invade those open world areas. Not just Cetus and the plains of Eidolon, but we might also see invasion in the Orb Vallis. Also, the return of pesky sentients with adaptive armor is inevitable, especially the Terror East that will only be killed if you destroy those cans first wrap around its waist. There are new sentients that are also coming and if you pause the new trailer, you will see a glimpse of them. In addition to that, I have a strong feeling that we will get a new mode called Sentient Invasion wherein we will fend off sentients in Star Chart. More like an invasion type of game mode but instead of the usual Corpus, Grenier, infested factions, we will deal with sentients with a whole new twist on the mission. Probably new sentient units or even the old ones invading the nodes in the Star Chart system. We would also probably see more sentient missions in the Railjack system. We would finally make use of our Railjack by battling those big sentient ships. But don't get too hype those those big ships are more like carrier fleet and they aren't for battling like those crew ships. There will be also new sentient themed weapons that will be added to the arsenal and might as well reveal the next Prime Warframe which is either Harrow Prime or Nidus Prime. I know it doesn't make sense since both Harrow and Nidus are more of Umbra Warframes than Prime, but money talks and it says that it will grab a lot of cash if they will release either Harrow Prime or Nidus Prime along with the new war content. There are also rumors about the Tau system, or the home of the sentients and we could finally be getting a new star chart also which will house sentient nodes. This is just a rumor though as we have only seen sentients invading us and we haven't seen the Tenno invading their home. There's a strong possibility that the new war will end up bad for the Tenno and we will lose this battle then which leads us to the next chapter of Warframe. Admittedly, I'm not 100% sure about us getting the Lotus back since all I see with the current chapter of the new war is us fending off the sentients. The final chapter of the new war could be the opening of a new chapter in Warframe's storyline. The Tenno could end up broken in the new war, and will look for new powers to finally put an end to the sentient. Lotus will be lost forever and we will avenge her death by slaying Era. This may be a heartbreaking ending for the final chapter of the new war, but it's better than plain getting the Lotus back and feels like we are back at square one. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Also, 
We might see the return of raids but it will change into something playable even in solo runs. We all know that digital extremes get rid of this feature since it locked some content in party plays and I'm still hoping that they will bring the feature back. Only this time, it won't need coordination from the team, but tasks that can be done solo or with a team. It will still have the raid feature with mechanics, boss fights, and plenty of players but it would require less teamwork like what we have in the idol and hunting and orb mother heists. Overall, I just hope that the new war will not be a big flop like the other small updates we got this year. The Sisters of Parvos is a good update, and I hope it will continue with the new war. Try to drop your thoughts about the new war and what do you expect from the biggest update of Warframe this year in the comment box below. Also, don't forget to link your Twitch account so you get the Tenecon 2021 drops. Loki Prime is it for grabs, as well as the new gun blade. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.